Hi, my name is Chris Kovach. I am the Regional Sales Representative in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. And today we're going to quickly talk about the Page Set Wizard when you're first opening up your Toby Dynabox T Series or I Series device with the Compass software. This is assuming you've gotten your device out of the box, you have battery power, you've turned on the device, and we're now at the initial pages of trying to select a page set. So there may be a few other pop ups that come up prior to this. Uh, you can either uh, complete those pop-ups by entering in your username or password if you've been to our website. Uh, you can put that in there, or you can hit skip, and you can go to this page. This is our page set setup wizard, and there's a couple options that you can do directly from this page. You can actually use the wizard itself, you can select the page set, you can restore from my Toby Dynabox, or you can restore from the hard drive of the unit itself. So if you've been working with a speech pathologist, or you've been working with your funding consultant, uh, or your sales representative, and you know the page set that you're going to use, you can restore it from my computer, the option down here at the bottom, and just go directly to that page set rather than having to answer the questions and go through the entire process of the setup wizard. If you're new to the system and you do not know a certain page set, or you'd like to explore the other page sets that are available, I would recommend going through the page set wizard. So to start that process, you can hit go to new page set wizard, and here it's going to ask you a little demographic information. It's going to ask you the age of the user, which can be a young child from ages 2 to 6, a child from ages 7 to 13, a teen from 14 to 21, a young adult from 22 to 50, or an adult at age 50 plus. So right now we'll just stick with young child, and you can select your gender, male or female, and then your um, medical diagnosis, which can be autism, Down syndrome, intellectual disability, cerebral palsy, childhood apraxia, aphasia or stroke, traumatic brain injury, or apraxia. We'll just leave it with autism at this point. You also want to check uh, whether or not the client is going to use the touch screen or a standard mouse to control the unit. Based on the condition set and the age grouping, the system tries to recommend one or two pages that may be most appropriate for you to start with. In this situation, it's recommended the NAVBAR page set, which was designed with the autism spectrum user in mind, as it's designed around a flat page navigation. It also recommends the potential for using core first, which is the utilization of core subject matter in combination with fringe words to create sentences as you go, uh, offering additional efficiency and flexibility along the way. If you wanted to compare those, you can click the compare, you can click the compare button here, and it'll give you a bit more information about each page set. If you click on the page set itself, it continues to give you a little bit more information. Here it's showing you different layouts and combinations that you may be able to utilize within the page sets. If none of those look appropriate, you can click View More, and it'll give you six total options to choose from. At this point, we're just going to select the NAVBAR page set, as it is one of the most common page sets. We're going to select select this page and we're going to say yes. The system will then download that information to the device or load that information from the hard drive already on the device and bring you to the main page. This may take depending on the size of the file or the uh, complexity of the page set that you've chosen may be faster or slower. Um, depending on the number of pictures and the number of options that exist within the page set. So just give it some time uh, and it will load within a few moments. Okay, now that the page set has been loaded, what it's going to ask you to do is to walk through a few steps to try and customize that page set to the client, uh, to the client's individual needs. There's a couple ways of doing this. If you've already used this software before, you know that you can hit the no thanks option rather than going through step one through six at the top and skip directly to selecting the proper level for the customer and continuing to select your topics and layout. If you've never done the process before, I would recommend walking through step by step and starting the levels questionnaire. What the questionnaire does is it asks you a series of five questions, I'm sorry, six questions with five options, and it's going to try and use those answers and those um, responses to isolate the best level for you to start with that client on the device. 
So I'm just going to click through and select the last option at option six is would we benefit from a visual scene or from a grid based? Um, this is completely up to you and changes based on the customer. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to stick with a grid. I will hit next and it's going to automatically take me to level two uh, based on the answers that I provided, which tells me that I will start with a, approximately 10 topics, uh, eight messages per topic, nine core words, and that my keyboard is listed as an alphabetical keyboard. I also have some core word structures built in, again, the nine words, and I have word lists as well. So if I am okay with that, I will hit next. Here I'm confirming that I chose the grid layout rather than the visual scene, which is this picture here with different hotspots. If I wanted to, we could watch a quick video uh, about how the page set and compass are organized. And now we can go in and select our topics. At this level, the system recommends starting with only 10 topics so you're not overwhelming the client uh, and you can start to get used to how the system works before you introduce more uh, information. So we can select topics now. What we need to do to select topics is to scroll down through and find topics that might be appropriate for us. So one topic may be maybe a child. Uh, so we might want to go to the doctor. Uh, we would select the show button and hit save. Anything that's notated with a C or an A following the main topic denotes adults and children. Fast food is always popular. Maybe meals. And I'm just going to select a few others to get us up to our number of 10. Okay, now that I've selected my 10, I can go back and hit done. Now I can again watch another video, an orientation. I can learn a little bit more about my Toby Dynabox, a little bit more about some additional resources that are at my Toby Dynabox, or I can just start communicating. Now we are at our homepage within the Navbar page set. For more information on Navbar, please watch the video specific for this page set. Thanks and have a great day.